The moment is finally upon us. With Seedlock having been banished, we can rejoice and finally play Varian King of Stormwind once again in Shadowwalk Shaman. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Boltzmann's Shadowwalk Shaman deck. There is no Reno Jackson in this deck, as you can see, there are cards that run duplicates. This deck stands a good chance against questline decks because you've got Mutanus in this deck, so you can eat those questline rewards. You've also got Double Dirty Rat that gives you a solid fighting chance. This is a Boltzmann deck, which means a lot of thought has gone into its design. It's a Boltzmann deck, which means your RNG is improved by 300%. I can verify that. Let's have a look at the deck then in action on the Wild Mode ladder. And we're starting out against a mage. Are you ready for this? Woe betide, Woe betide those who set themselves against me. Varian King of Stormwind, what an entrance. And let's punish this mage by destroying their Reno Jackson. So this poor, poor Reno mage. Oh, well that's a response. Poor Varian. He was only on the board for a few seconds. Okay. We have a board. Most importantly, though, we do have a hand full of pretty cool resources. We have a board clear with Flurgle Toxfin. We have Mutanus to eat things. Well, we've just lost our dirty rat's battle cry. But that's okay. It means we can play Talon again. And get either Grumble or the Lurker below. We also have the Shadow Walk. Worth noting. So questions in terms of how we deal with this board. What do we want to commit? How do we want to go about this? This, is not what we this seems clean. And we develop the tailor who's now sadly lost his divine shield. That's frustrating. Reno here is doing good work for the mage in terms of these random spells. So even though we got rid of their Reno Jackson, this game is far from over. Uh, their resource generation is still going to be significant. Oh, that could have been worse, right? That could have been worse. Alright, let's eat something good. Oh, that's good. Wow. So once again, we do find ourselves in quite a commanding position with a significant board presence. What do they have that can clear this board? Oh god. Oh, thank goodness. That could have been terrible. That could have been terrible. Gosh, we got so lucky there. Okay. It is time for a bit of lurker below value. Now, normally, um, I'm used to getting better value from a lurker below. 
Normally, I'm used to, you know, destroying an entire board of minions. But that's okay. We still got some lurker value, and that makes me very happy. So, we just win. Do we just win? The answer is no, we don't. Because I want to stall this game out a little bit longer. I want to have some fun here. We are going to bully this mage. So I could have done a better job with my attacks there, but I'll be honest with you, I do not want to pop their ice block. I want this game to continue. I want to continue until I can play my Shadow Walk. I want to continue until I feel it's the right time to play my Shadow Walk. So I'm not even going to attack base. Oh, the Hecklebot! It's been a while since I've seen a Hecklebot. Oh, here we go. Business just picked up. Oh, well, that did nothing. Okay. They got no dragons back to hand. So goodbye, Hecklebot. Goodbye, Alex Straza. And we are just going to continue this game. This, by the way, is not BM. For those of you watching this thinking that I am BMing my opponent, I'm not, honestly. I just want to have fun with Shadow Walk Shaven. And now we decide to end it, pop the block, play the Shadow Walk. Alright, and that's it. Game over. Or is it? What have they got in hand that could help them here? Oh my god, that's terrible. Could that bring them back into the game? Keep in mind I have no Shadow Walks in hand. So if this board goes, I lose my Shadow Walks. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's interesting. So just when I thought this game was going to be over and we were going to win, they have shuffled a Yog into their deck. Oh, they've just drawn it. Okay, and they're fatiguing. Oh no, don't die. I, I want you to play that Yog again. Okay, don't die. Don't fatigue yourself into death. Come on, Yogg. Can't you heal the mage? Oh no. Are you going to take more fatigue damage? No. Okay. Right, so that Yogg is in hand. I mean... I, I want them to play that Yogg again, but I'm not so toying with the idea of Mutanus on their Yogg. But let's see if they can play their Yogg here. No, they can't because they've only got nine mana.
So we could pass another turn. But then they just die to fatigue, right? Because they'd take four fatigue damage next turn. So there's no chance of them playing their Yogg. It's not going to happen, is it? That's a shame. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Ignite. Ha. Huh. Oh, I guess they don't die to fatigue next turn. So, let's just play Mutanus here. We'll end this game now. I think when I saw the Ignite, I thought to myself, let's not tempt fate. Oh, it's counter spell. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Just got bad memories of uh, Ignite. Will prevail. Fire, be okay. Time for another mage. Will it be a Reno mage? Or will it be a Secrets mage? Or will it be Questline mage? I know out of those three options, I would prefer to play against the Reno Mage, and maybe the Secrets Mage is not too bad. I really, really dislike Questline Mage. Alright, this hand is not going to do anything for us anytime soon. Thalnos could be card draw next turn, but beyond that, a bit of a slow hand for us. Ah, uh, Secrets Mage, sure. Look at Varian, rearing to go. So, ping? Trade? Play a secret? No? Okay. Right, there's the one drop that we wanted. This is okay. This is fine. We have Flurgle in hand, so if we get Ice Fishing, we're guaranteed to get Toxfin. I suppose we will need the Flurgle Toxfin combo in this game. They will develop a wide board. They will get their Crystal Runners down. We're going to need a way to deal with that, so uh, we either need Ice Fishing or we need to draw Toxfin. Okay, that's the wrong Murloc to draw, to be honest, but could come in handy on turn 7, maybe? So, Coin Lowertheb blocks out the spells, hopefully means they've got to double trade ping and thus disrupt their entire turn in terms of developing on the board. Oh, of course. Of course, they still get to play their bleeding secret. Excuse me. And they get to kill the Lothab with some relative ease. That's unfortunate. I mean, we're not too worried about this board. I'm more interested in the secrets that are in play at the moment. But the board will grow, and remember, we do not have Reno Jackson to fall back on, so most of the Shadow Walk decks that I've played over the last six months have been Reno Shadow Walk decks, and against Secrets Mage, I've probably won more of the games than I've lost where I've had Reno Jackson available at the right time. And I need to remember, this is not a Reno deck. So I can't fall back on Reno. So still no Toxfin available to us. If we had Toxfin, this would have been a nice turn to play Dirty Rat. And then the Flurgle Toxfin combo, clear the board. 
Oh wow, the trade. I like to see the trade. That's good. That is five damage that did not go face. Fantastic. Hmm. Four secrets in play. One of those is explosive runes. Let's see if there's a minion in hand. No. And goodbye, Mutanus. You did absolutely nothing for us. But we are about to head into a power turn. Varian, King of Stormwind, is going to pull us back into this game. Oh, more secrets. So if you do survive long enough to get to your Varian turn, it is such a great play. Whoa! Betide those who set themselves against me. That is such a beautiful entrance. Well, we drew a bunch of resources cards. They are doing exactly the same thing. I'm looking at Armor Vendor Zola as a way to get back into the game in terms of a health standpoint. We need to be cautious of being burst down by fireballs. There's a fireball. Oh, it's hitting Varian. You're not ready for this. So Varian sacrificed himself to the fireball there. It meant that our face didn't have to take that damage. I think it'd be good here to clear the board. Makes me feel safe. And I'll sacrifice the armor vendor. There is an argument for keeping it alive on the board for Grumble. Could have played both armor vendors, grumbled them both back to hand, and then just gained more armor. What once was for those of you looking at this deck and thinking that it lacks healing because there's no Reno, there's no healing rain, your way of dealing with aggro is to basically play multiple armor vendors. Ah, Zilliax does help as well, clearly. But yeah, multiple armor vendors is your strategy. This is not what we stood for. So, Talon is guaranteed to get us the Shadowwalk. Meanwhile, I'm looking at this other armor vendor, and I realize there is also the barista to get it back to hand. What do I need to worry about in terms of damage? We've seen one fireball. Oh god, there's the other one. Wait, what was that? Why did they do that? They've just thrown a fireball at a divine shield. Primitive. Have they just lost hope with this game? Do they just think they can't win now? Armor, armor, lightly used armor. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Says the chain gang. Well, I intend to drag this along a bit longer until I can play my shadow walk. Two fireballs are gone. Cloud princes, however, are a problem. But we've also seen double Medivh's valet, so in terms of burst damage, it's just double cloud prince. Oh, there's one. And that didn't go face. That's really, really good. 
So one more cloud prints is all we need to be really concerned about. Notice that we have yet to draw topspin. Hmm. Although maybe we don't need topspin here. Lightning storm could be interesting, but counter spell is a thing. Hmm. Break it, you buy it. But it has to be a counter spell. So, we are going the armor route. That is our counter to that board. Not the lightning storm. And now fatigue damage is going to become a problem for the mage. Doesn't matter that they have 24 armor, they will just die to fatigue eventually. Still yet to draw the ice fishing or the toxin. We have many secrets. And the other Cloud Prince targets the Grumble. Are they just hoping to stick this board uh, for as long as possible? And then just start going face with the minions. There's the Toxfin. And there it is. Game over. We're not going to attack face. Out of fear of Flame Ward. We don't need to attack face any longer. We can just wait them out to fatigue. And I really want to play my Shadow Walk though. Please don't concede. An incredible discovery. They're not conceding. Excellent. No, it's not Flame Ward. Okay. Alright, here we go. Take some more armor. Go on. These Shadow Walk plays really are, are for fun more than anything else. Three Shadow Walks stuck on the board. They've got no way of removing them. And I've got no way of returning them to hand, but it doesn't matter. This is just game over. Okay, it's not a minion. Break it, you buy it. There's a spell in hand. Do you remember when mages used to play Aluneth? And then they'd just fatigue themselves into oblivion if you ran them out of cards? Those were the good old days. when Secrets Mage would be punished for drawing too many cards too quickly. And I appreciate that they are hanging around a bit longer. They know they've lost, but they are giving me the satisfaction of attacking with my Shadow Ox. Now, is that secret? Flame Ward, I wonder. Is that why you are pinging my minions? To weaken them for Flame Ward? Still no concede? You're gonna ping a minion again? <laughs> 
Of course you are. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Ah, uh, what a game. Now I do wonder if my opponent hadn't made certain mistakes, like fireballing a divine shield, would they have won that game? Okay, joining this next game in progress. It is a demon hunter with a quest line. And I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I have these reactive cards in my hand. So just playing this Tempo Ziliax. And Glide. What a nuisance. What an absolute nuisance. I guess it's a good counter for, you know, Reno decks or control decks or slower decks like this one that, you know, specialise in gathering resources in the hand and gather a full hand and then you shuffle it all away. And then they draw four cards and those may not be the cards that they need. Well, that's a good counter. However, this is pretty awesome! It's worth noting, they'd completed their quest line. We did not pull their quest line reward. So they got pretty lucky. Huh. Interesting. My quest, my revenge, all that's here. Huh. Is that going to be a problem? Well, here's our counter. So what is their win condition? I haven't played against this deck often enough to know what their win condition is. We saw an Artificer, so... Are we just going to die to a bunch of spells and lifesteal that then kills us? What are we dying to? And what are they looking for? There's a Shadow Walk. Pleasure doing business. It's turn nine next turn. We could just play the Shadow Walk, you know. Pleasure doing well, maybe we don't want to take any gambles. Maybe we just want to kill them, because we have lethal on board. Yeah, messing around against this opponent scares me. Considering that I'm not overly familiar with their deck and what we're up against. Part of me would almost want to pass a turn, give them a chance to come back into the game. To clear my board. So I could then just play the Shadow Walk, but no, they can see. Okay. They made the decision for me. Well, streaking with this deck. Pretty cool. Okay, let's look at our final game. Another mage. Quite a few mages on the ladder. Particularly secrets mages. I guess with Seedlock disappearing, maybe people see secrets mage as being more viable again. For quite some time, secrets mage was one of the most consistent decks in Hearthstone in wild mode. Was always a staple part of the ladder. And this feels like deja vu. I, I feel like I've been in this situation before, 
with the Blood Mage Thalnos on the board against a mad scientist. An incredible hmm. Okay, no trading. Okay, there's the ice fishing, which could get us our Flurgle Toxfin combo. If the previous games against Secrets Major are anything to go by, there will soon come a turn when those Crystal Runners will hit the board. Excuse me, you are on and we will definitely need the magic of the Flurgle Toxfin combo. There's Toxfin, which means if we play ice fishing, we are guaranteed. Okay. That's unfortunate. I was really, really hoping that that was not counter spell. Ah, uh, if it was any other secret. Oh god, and here's the board that we were worried about. <laughs> this is the board that we needed Flurgal Toxfin for. Oh, well, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Here's Flurgle. Um, that could be explosive runes. Yep. Good thing we did that. The excitement almost overtook me. And I nearly would have played Flurgle into that explosive runes. I've done it before. And it's a terrible... Terrible feeling. Particularly when you've got other minions in hand that can test for the explosive runes. Anyway. Let's have some fun here. We could have gone with the Lurker. That would have been cool. But the opportunity to play another Toxfid. And we won't hit face. It could be Flame Ward. <laughs> and there's the concede. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, the streak continues. Right, well, ladies and gentlemen. Varian, King of Stormwind. He was able to get us some great value in the games that you saw in this video. A massive thank you to Boltzmann for this glorious deck. I know a lot of thought has gone into the design of the deck and a lot of testing will have occurred. Um, addressing some feedback on this deck that I've seen others provide on the For Doomhammer Shaman Discord server, um, one question that came up is where's the healing in this deck? There's obviously no Reno Jackson. Um, you're lacking healing spells. How do you survive on the ladder against Questline Hunter, against Questline Pirate Warrior? Well, Boltzmann's response to this is that you have Armor Vendor. So, with Armor Vendor, uh, you can play it multiple times through um, Grumble, through Barista. You keep on playing those armor vendors again and again and again and again, and you stack up that armor. And you saw that happen in this video against the Secrets Mage. We stacked up a massive amount of armor, and that just kept us going. But Boltzmann does say that you can cut Blood Mage Thalos, and you could also cut uh, Mutanis or Murmuring Elemental in order to put in Healing Rain or more than one copy of Healing Rain if you really want. So there's some consideration there if you want more healing. Thank you very much for joining me everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all again very soon for more Wild Mode fun. Until next time, please stay safe. Please look after yourselves and as always, please be good to one another.